Alright, so this is finally my finished first quadricopter. It's a home built little guy, everything from Hobby King. So we just kind of got um, some wooden dowels going across the side on both sides. And then I just mounted a short section on one side to uh, give it a platform to, to mount everything on. Um, on top we got the KK board from Hobby King a orange X receiver. Uh, we've got the NTM 750 kV motor. Uh, they're all swinging a 10 by 6 prop. Uh, the plush 30 amp speed controllers. And then on the bottom here we have the uh, power distribution board that you can get at Hobby King. Very handy to have. A lot easier than making your own. And then powering it we have a 1800 3-cell uh, nanotech so, uh, let's see how this thing works. So, it, it took a while to kind of get this thing tuned out. Um, if you have one of these quadricopters, you really want to take your time and and get all the wobbles out. So I found that really having the gyros set a little bit below the point at which they wobble is the best in terms of stability um, and still maintaining control. The quadricopters were actually, it's a bit harder to fly than what I thought. I thought it was going to be more stable. Um, I've flown four channel little helicopters like the MSR before without a problem. So I thought this would be actually kind of easy. And so it was more challenging than what I thought. It's um, not really stable. You always have to have your fingers on the sticks correcting uh, which direction it has because it doesn't have accelerometers, so it doesn't uh -huh. self-level. Um, so you really kind of have to stay on top of it. And then the other thing is that you have to just make sure that you keep your orientation just because uh, unlike the helicopters, there's no front and back. So it's really easy to lose orientation, which uh, is what ended the day later on when I crashed it. I just kind of got too far away and couldn't tell which way was front and back but uh, it was a lot of fun um, I think I can't wait to do more with a quadcopter get some better aerial footage and then maybe do some FPV later uh, and I have the new KK3 board coming in so that's the the new the new control board by Hobby King that has accelerometers so I'll be excited to see that and test it out um, I think that should be a lot more stable and easier to fly especially for things like FPV and whatnot. So stay tuned for more to come on that. The aftermath of the first crash. <laughs>